and welcome. I am Johnny B. And I'm the Restless Kaiser. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Well, once again, folks, it's that time of year. Daddy Fat Sacks has come along and dispensed his load all in the Kaiser's room. Ho, 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 sir. Ho, ho, ho. 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 Look at this quality Christmas outfit. Quality goods. And fa la 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 la, the fuss rodar. So what we have here is a bunch of presents, which I will unwrap. Mm. And Kaiser's going to tell me why the hell we got them and what we intend to do with them. They're very much indicative of where we're going to channel next year, the games that we play and what it is that um, you can sort of expect, hope or dream. With a, a success rate of about 70% of what we opened last so year. So I had a look at last year's, actually, John. How and, good, um, how did we do? We didn't do too bad. One of the big ones was we opened that Battletech starter set and we didn't yes. do that. Yes, okay. We That's didn't do one. that. <laughs> but there's plenty of coverage out there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Can I open the presents now, please? I think you can. I think you can. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to start with this one. I have no idea what these are, so this is the first time I will be seeing them. It is the first time you'll be seeing them. Possibly. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Right. Yeah. 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 So for okay, example, I, I, I lied. This, this is yeah. not... I have seen yeah. this before. Yeah. Okay, so first up is the Perry Miniatures Africa Core. So tell them about Africa Core, John. So this is something we are looking to get into. Yes. Solely because it's a different space in time and a completely different board that we can use. So the thing we were talking about um, when we do bolt action in the mid-war in a desert, mm. because it's a completely new set, there's no pre-existing equipment that we have, it's all painted differently yep. and whatever, that we don't need to stick with the particular ranges. Exactly. Um, so we thought that we were going to look at the Perry. So we've already unboxed uh, and made a start on British. Yeah, made a start as a strong, made a start as a strong term. Strong term, but yeah, um, definitely got. So them. you can expect to see an unboxing of the Africa Core, and so, um, and the other point about that is where it will start. I think is we're looking a bit at firefight next year, which is so worth we can mentioning. start with a squad. So firefight is the is the squad level version of ball action. It's got its it's got its pros and cons, and it's it's got its fans and its so. detractors. Yeah. Um, but it's something we really want to look at. I think in the sort of the first half of next year, you're going to see MFA playing. It gets us on the table firefight. in a different theatre of yeah. war. And it's for easy a very to record an evening after work, I think. It's only easy to paint and get started. Which is key. Which is key. That's what we need. Okay, next up the is Africa this uh, Christmas pudding, I think. It the is. Christmas pudding. Oh, I think you're going to like this one the best, John. I really? I think you're going to like this one the best. Shall I save it till last? Uh, no! Can yeah. it break? Because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's got old school blisters in it, I think, John. I forgot I should be trying to save the paper because Mrs. K loves to recycle this stuff. Mrs. K's big, big on recycling, yeah. yeah. These, you, these exact versions of this wrapping Ooh. paper may have wrapped MFA presents last year. Right, so before me, interestingly, is some mm. American Civil War from Calistra. We have three packs here. We've got Confederate Cavalry, Confederate Infantry Firing, mm. and what's this last one? Union Greatcoats Advancing. So we've played one on-camera game of Black Panther one. American Civil War. Yeah. We've got the kind of uh, six regiments aside finished. Thank you. Oh, uh, I didn't. Um, <laughs> you did that. At the point when um, Epic came out, we were just about just ready to get going. Just before you'd finished it. So we kind of already, you know, got got into that with a, with a particular one. Um, that video's done really well. The viewers really, really liked it. Um, so over Why the next is year, that? is it the topic or is I think, it the, I think probably the lack system? of coverage? I think lack of coverage is a part of it. I okay. really do. I think um, there's, th there are channels that do Black Powder, but there aren't many doing American Civil War. I ah. think Black Powder is probably a much bigger game than than we necessarily knew. Yeah, um, and I'm 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 definitely into it. And you've got to be realistic. It's like if we wanted to do get in the epic Napoleonic thing. That would put that American Civil War thing kicked out into the into the well. It's the same, distance. isn't it? Essentially, but you different. know. And, and actually, I think we've we've got um, some forces. So the point about those three, I've still got loads of bits left over from the blisters of the other ones. Yes. 
Um, so the Union in Great Coats was just a way of having a different looking regiment or yeah. two, yeah. which is going to provide a little bit of visual interest on the table. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to have a veteran regiment, how does it look different? So it's, the the one in the, it's the one in the Great Coats. Yeah. I think I've also got some, some Zouaves um, and I needed some more Confederate cavalry. See, so. there's more hiding. It is, yeah, yeah. These are just the ones that have come, come quite recently. And you're not going to see that one in the next three months because these are big no, forces. this is a pain. long term, yeah. Uh, but you are going to see another American Civil War battle Good. when we've got a couple more regiments. Happy days. Yeah, yeah. You'll hear more about that in the not-too-distant future. Next up, there's a light one. A bit Ooh. worried about that. Yeah. Why is it so light? Why is it so light? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know why it's so light. Is it just so an empty You're going to like this one. It's not an empty box. A quick interlude whilst I open this. Jingle bells, mate. Oh no. My least favourite game ever. Only because I lose every single I was one. Say, I'm really, <laughs> I've been really enjoying this series. I am enjoying it. Mainly giving the names out to people. SPQR by Warlord Games. And it's this is the Gallic War Dogs. Uh, so for anyone that's, that's that's wondering, the SPQR campaign that we've been running, look, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, right? SPQR it is not the best set of wargaming rules I've ever played. Mm -mm. But we, but because of the campaign, the legacy battles, and the whole biggest dickus kind of We've really, had a lot of fun with we've it. We've had a lot of fun with it. And um, you've not seen a video for a couple of months. It's not because we've given up on it at no. all. We just reached a step where there's quite a bit of, of painting and new models to get for the there's next There's a bit of painting. There's a bit the of that. There's thing. a whole motivational issue from my end. Yeah, Thank yeah, yeah. Get a bit of Johnny B's mojo. Oh, um, got to get on it. But the SPQR campaign, it's not, it's not, it's it's not, not done. It's not done by any means. We really enjoy it. There was just, there's just. A bit, and it's probably not going to feel like a lot of painting the model into you guys, but it's got to fit it's, around all the yes, other things that we have to yes. do. Um, <laughs> yeah, but more SPQR, hopefully in the first quarter. And these look nice. The nice. dogs for my goals, yeah. yeah. Interestingly on the SPQR, John, we were looking at the mercenaries the other day. Oh, I completely did myself over. So we, it looks like some of the mercenaries, like the Cre Cretan archers, the Balearic slingers, they're much better point for point than other units. Massively. Which is good because that means that the, the losing guy in the campaign can take these high value mercenaries to yeah. pad out their force. I think it could be exactly what you need. Well, I think it is. I mean, pound for pound, in one of the games I use eight uh, Gallic slingers because I can... I can use them. Yeah. And but then, you got as we were saying, I could have got... Uh, or Balearic Slingers. Balearic Slingers, which are the same points. Ten points a pop, but they shoot on threes, they re-roll ones, they do all this crazy <laughs> stuff, and I'm like, why? Did I but not they crush your warband's income. But if you're losing, yeah, but... your income's already crushed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ten percent, I'm all right with that. <laughs> all right. Next up. Ooh, this seems like a whole new system here. What, what's this one? Ooh, do you want to save that one? I'm going to save that one. Save that, that does one. seem like quite a meaty one, that one. That is, a, that, that is they, they don't know anything about this. That is new. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Now this, ooh. sir, is... This confuses me, Blood Red Skies, because they're all very similar sized box. But yes. some are tiny planes, some are big planes. This is big this planes. Is big planes. This, so Blood Red Skies is a game we haven't played on the channel. We've had a little bit of a tester of it. Um, and what we're intending to do with Blood Red Skies is, uh, is play a few games on the channel. I've played a few tester games. It, it looks quite troubling. And you get it. To begin with. To begin with. And you're like, this is not like hit on three years <laughs> and, you know, wound on fours. It's not at all like that. It's got these boom chits and these other random things to yeah. it. Yeah. But actually, it's still quite a flimsy booklet. If you put the time in, and I have done with my friend Martin. Martin, yeah. Uh, we played a few games, and that one using the old Airfix models. I, I, I want to have a to reason fun. to look again at those kits that I failed yes. to build so badly as a kid on a Sunday afternoon. And it's going to look really good on camera. Hopefully. If the kits are better than I remember them. <laughs> Which they may or may not be. <laughs> but uh, they're so exactly the same. Blood Red Skies. Yeah. Blood absolutely. Red Skies. So there we go. That was Blood Red Skies. Uh, Daddy Fat Sacks has been very generous. He has, but this is. This is. He's come out of the sky, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But th th this is kind of plans over the next year. Yeah, uh, you're not going to sure, see all yeah, of these yeah. things. <laughs> and many of them. So actually, most of them have been relatively new things for us, but some of the stuff you're going to see. 
is that expansions for stuff we already do. Speaking of new stuff. Oh yeah. Uh, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is. Project Z or Project, Project Z. Z. Yeah. Uh, another War of Games. And this one, this has been out before. I've yes. actually played it with Jason oh, many really? moons ago. Is there, a, is there a video on Battle Knights if somebody wants there to watch? There is a video on Battle Knights. Nice. Is it shocking? Shonky video. Shocking. But, uh, and the minute she's painted. No. <laughs> is it terrain painted? No. No, standards were a lot, uh, a lot lower back then. Right. right. Um, You've got standees for miniatures. Well, we had miniatures. Some were painted. See, I, I'd, I'd accept standees, but unpainted miniatures. Little card ones, coloured cards. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, I think that that's a legitimate alternative. <laughs> but unpainted miniatures is just shocking. Having for standees, you I know, yeah, right? That's yeah. really bad. So this is a crazy little, uh, well, quite a unique little system, where I think you make your warband out of just cards in themselves. Right. Up to a certain amount, like four mm -hmm. cards, yeah. and then you do shenanigans. But it's zombies. So this is this is a re-release of a game that's been that's yes. a game that went kind of out of production during COVID, it hasn't been seen for a while. It's Warlord's take on a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And you have a variety of gangs. In there, I think you get the, the girl biker gang. So you get a biker gang, which is a, a, a big mix of them, but there are a couple of ladies in there. Right. Uh, and then you get generic survivors. Right. Uh, a group of ten of those, which they all group together. Some of them are characters, some of them aren't. Bits like that. Right, okay. It looks, I mean, it looks interesting, but it's tying in with some of the other things that we're, what we're hoping to do next year. Right? So I think the, the kind of set that yeah. that's going to use um, is, looking a, is looking a bit more credible. So I expect to see an unboxing of that in the not too distant future. And I think Darry might already have it unpainted, you know. Uh, painted. I reckon. I think... I think this is our awesome. most wonderful uh, fan, Saffron69, do you mean? Yes, indeed, indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but our local Gary, yeah. yeah, we didn't know it was him. <laughs> so, oh, I think he familiar. might have a painted set. It might get him around and have a, have it, a might do. it might be Zombicide or one of the other Zombies yes, games. Yes, but it could be. It could we'll be. see, we'll see. Uh, next up, I've got four left. We're leaving that to last. Let's go with Let It Snow. This yeah, is it's... weighty, Mike. That is weighty. Then I know what it is. Then I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Very much in the theme of. Ooh. 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 Sorry, Mr. Pay, I broke it. Oh, Strontium Dog. Strong Dog. Um, so, Strontium Dog. 2000 AD. I really want to get some 2000 AD back in my life. And this you know? is more your cup of tea. Do you so they've, they've got. At the moment they've got Judge Dredd. Yeah. They've got Strontium Dog, yeah. which is the bounty hunters, but they're much more wilderness based. Yeah. It's like from a setting, from a, a battlefield set, the scenery, I think we're much more able to do that. We do look at that quite often. That does decide some of what we Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we able do we have a battlefield? Can for we this? actually play this? in this scale? Yeah. Um and they're doing Slain next, and that's like, uh, I think he's like, like based on Kukul yeah. and it's Celtic mythos. Um, this one, I think we're, we're going to do some de desert wilderness, post-apocalyptic scenery, which are probably going with Project that. Z, yeah. use mostly our existing desert terrain. It, it's doable. Awesome. What I really want to see, if you're watching Stalard, it's a want Rogue Trooper. That's what, we, that's what we want. I want that's the talking want. hat. I want an app with the talking but of, hat. Of, what, of what's out, what's currently available, so out of Judge Dread, that and Slain, I choose this winner. one for us. Yeah. Strontium Dog, I choose you. And what's happening with Strontium Dog, by the way, is because the painting is one of the biggest challenges big to speed. Challenge. Learning rules is another big challenge. But it's another challenge. Max is sending a pair of these to Brush and Quill, and he's going to paint up Way. two sets. One is going to keep, one is going to send back to me. So that's the kind of the payment for it. That sounds like a fair trade to me. Exactly, exactly. Excellent. Yeah, Thank bad. you. I don't Russian know whether Quill. that is part of that other one. Is it? Shall I leave that for a moment? If you, um, yeah, let's do, it, let's do it that way. Another big box. Because Mrs. K's wrapped it. I haven't seen them for at least an hour. At least an hour? Yeah. So they yeah. are deleted. So this is, a, this is another one. Because you have seen this. I think this is more a precursor as to what you've been working on for me. Yes, right? absolutely. So, Flames of War, Armoured Battle Group, Britishers, Starter Force, you see. The British Late War Flames of War Army is now very nearly done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it has got quite a lot of vehicles in it. Just and it's going like to be it. fitted alongside all the other things that we're doing. Yes. Um, I've, been, I've been working on that as a kind of side project. We're at a stage where I've got the army. We just need 
decals and and after the decals with that very last finesse um iraqi sand light highlight which john does with a little I can do I can do the fancy stuff. Yeah, I just that. struggle with the bulk. Yeah, yeah, getting the, the bulk of the bulk of the job out of the way. So um, it's actually going to use Cromwell's in the first instance, um, but it's it, Cromwell's, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But actually, the the um, um, tank force of the Cromwell's there's probably eight Cromwell's in it. The, the rest of the army is the same as all the others. And as we play through different games, I've already getting the the you, Churchill lined up and adding the Sherman the bits farm. That I'm gonna need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of those other things. Because some things are easy to paint alongside others. Yes. Know, and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. When you do well, Flames of War, you've not seen games for a while because we've kind of been playing with the same armies a little bit and we were looking to bring something new to the table. Yeah. And, and that's what it'll be. It's, it's boring for you and yeah. it's hella boring for us as well if we're, we're going to keep grinding. And it just away. ended up, because of, because of like second wave and all that kind of stuff, it just yeah. ended up taking a great deal longer than expected to finish this. I didn't really True. realize how big a project it was going to be. To do that, because I knocked out the Germans in no time, but I had a lot of more stuff that just came over from tanks. Yes, that is, is the thing. It gives you the head start where this yeah. is like fresh palette, right? Yeah, yeah, and nothing. Boo! Right, is this going to be interesting? This is the last of the packages. I'll start with this one. I can't remember. It's a book. It's definitely a book. Okay, it's another just reminding you. It's that their kill team game, you know. The, <laughs> it's that their. Do you know what's happened there? I think this has been left out. You see, that's been left out on the table when we've done the presents. <laughs> and uh, this is case has wrapped it up. You will see more kill team from us, though. We're going to play a game pretty damn soon, actually, aren't we? we? Yes, we are. Kill team barrier to entry was the impenetrably difficult rules. <laughs> Look at this, John. I've, I've even, <laughs> I've even painted. The, the, the squares and what have you on the widgets. The actual colours in yeah, the book. Yeah, the actual I colours. I still need numbers on there though, mate. I need the ones, the twos, the threes. You need to write, write the number in I Sharpie the next to there. it. Yeah, and so yeah. I can actually no, just see say the number is on there, John, because it's that distance. Yeah, that's, no, the, but that's the whole point of these as proprietary a measuring model tools. Maker, I'm not aware of this. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> right, yeah. Mm, whatever that might mean. Yeah. John is a professional metal m model maker. Not in that he's a good loose, model loose maker. Loose In that he makes models for, for a professional a bit, for a company. Living. Yes. For a living. I am not professional, however. Last um, one. Yeah. Kelsey. So this is a new, genuinely new project. Ooh. And I don't think we've Ooh. mentioned it before. We have not. So this was. Now this is going to hit you. Selwyn. Right in the sweet spot. This is one of your favourites. It's going to hit me in the sweet spot, mate. Oh, Merry Christmas, The tokens matron. here. We've got a couple of boxes here. But the main thing, so you can maybe see it as well. Great Escape it, Games 1914. 14. Yes. Times two. So when we went to Selwig, which was the first show we got to after lockdown. First show we've been to as us, I think. As, as one of the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time we, we went to it. We took Jason along with us as well, didn't we? From, we from did, yeah, took him yeah. along for, yeah. for a little ride. And he largely abandoned us and talked to TT Combat all day. Mainly, yeah. Um, but I didn't look around and, and, and I, I, I went there and like, if I'm going to be a, a war game show, what can I get here? What can I do here that I, I, I wouldn't do any other day of the week? Yeah. I, I need to look at the games that I'm, I wouldn't otherwise look at. I need to talk to the people. I need to think about it. So the Great Escape games, um, they do have a... Do they do Dead Man's Hand? They do one of the Western games, yeah, I think. I'm pretty or sure maybe the do. miniatures for it or something. They definitely have bought Fistful out. of Lead or what, yes. one of those type of games yes. is their thing. Yep. But they actually have a range of games. So this is their World War One game, but they very specifically and tightly set it at 1914. Because, Why? Because it's pre-trenches. So these dudes are actually like walking around? These dudes are, are the dudes who fight the battles before they dig the trenches and why they dig the trenches. Oh. Because in the age of, of hundreds of thousands of men marching largely in skirmish order, such as Napoleon would recognise, and con consolidating for mass effect fire, they're still doing that in the manuals. So they advance in open order, and then at the point when they're reaching contact, they're then going to concentrate again to get superior firepower. Hang on a minute, but hasn't hasn't it shifted slightly? Isn't there like machine guns and stuff now? Yes. So concentrating for superior firepower turns out to be a bad idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Hence the trenches. <laughs> Hence I the see. trenches. Hence the trenches. So they, they've, you know, the the firepower and and people. So you tend to, you know, a lot of our exposure to military equipment that we would be familiar with in World War One. You know, most of the bolt action rifles are World War One pattern. Maxim guns. You know, the Vickers. That's yeah. a world. That's a World War One design. Wow. Um, or pre-war, in fact. You know, a lot of the equipment is very similar, but the tactics are very different at the beginning of the war. Um, and and so it's used differently. So one of the things you have in the First World War is most of the artillery is going to war with shrapnel, which you don't see in World War Two. So shrapnel is uh, is fused to air burst. And it's like a shotgun. That is horrific. And you got this, uh, and so you've had the innovation of quick firing artillery. And what quick firing artillery is, it doesn't mean it fires quick, it means it's single part ammunition, which is, just lob it which in, is innovative it for artillery. This is a game changer in terms of how quickly you can load and fire. It's not really put the thing, put the powder, put the wad, put <laughs> yeah, the wad. Yeah, ask the blood to check it. it. You're yeah. right, yeah, yeah, light, boom, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you get things like the uh, the British 18 pounder can allegedly fire 20 rounds a minute. You're like, okay, that, that's a huge increase on the kind of multi-part ammunition we were using before. And it's firing air burst. So, this so you're, is... literally a battery of guns is going to saturate 100 square yards with, with hypersonic ball bearings, <laughs> shredding people to death. It's like, if I dig a hole, wow. I'm not going to get hit by this. Yeah, or well, hopefully not as much. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and so then that stuff is totally ineffective at fighting troops in cover. Yeah. But it murders people in the open. And completely halts yes. the war. Um, well, no, because there's still a little bit of room to move. There's, it's not it's not solid wall to wall like coast to coast uh, coast to Switzerland and the bit during oh, you can go around the edges, can you? There's you still can an still edge. Ride. Yeah, in the late 1914, this was called the race to the sea, as the British and the Germans are all. I'm going to get round you. No, I'm going to get round you. No, I'm going to get round you, you prick. Uh, and then they realise that they've got trenches from Switzerland. And then, to the right sea. now, now so, okay, stop now. What are we going to do now? Balls. That's interesting. Christmas. But in the battles of 1914, the Miracle of the Marne and the Schlieffen Plan, all this stuff, you've got old-style battalions moving in columns, advancing in skirmishing lines, that, you know, firing for maximum effect so uh, it's, with it's their rifles. Napoleonics, but with with machine guns, that's what you're saying. <laughs> but not, Napo not Napoleonics, they don't fight in columns. Oh, okay. <laughs> Close. Same but different. So right. So we got the rules. Yes. And, and the rules look relatively straightforward, by the way. I've just had a cursor advance when I spoke to them. They they even gave us so um they do a bundle which is a which is a rule book and one of each of the armies. Right. You know, now, which it's not cheap because there's a lot of figures here. I forget how quite how many they are. Does it say? Uh, on the we'll give you a link to their website. But there's a, there's I think there's like four four battalions of infantry, a battery of guns, and some cavalry or something like that in their star there's armies. There's a fair whack of metal. There's a, there's a lot of metal in there uh, for each of them. And we've got a British and a German one there. Is that right, John? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're I think and they're, they're like carbon copy, right? Common in the sense of the the composition, you get a couple of cannons, you get your infantry, you get some the British cavalry. versus the German yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think so. I think, I think so. Don't quote They're not carbon copy in the mo in the sculpts. No, 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 no. <laughs> sorry, that's not what I meant. In in composition, but the yes, sculpts are but, very but different. how their games work. And the models themselves, I think they're like twelve mil. Yeah, they're very small for fifteen, and they're a bit big for yeah. ten. And um, we've had a quick we'll have a quick look at them. We maybe John will take you some photos. They're beautiful sculpts. They really are. For what they they're are, really you can, clean. You can see. It looks like I've opened the German ones, but they've got the the pickle harb. Pickle harb. Yeah. Harb. I can't say word. But yep. yeah, you can clearly see that these guys are German dudes, yeah. which is nice. And I think they also do Belgians and French at the moment. They're looking at um, maybe Austrians and Russians. But it's a 1940. You're not going to see tanks. You're not going to see all that late war stuff because it, it it requires a different rule set. Yeah. Is the, is the point? Yeah. It's it's not a war of maneuver. Yes. Anymore, <laughs> and I, I love the First World War. It's my. It's That's my, your thing. It's my you can learn us up on it, Kaiser. In military history, learn you up, mate. Learn that is what I'm up. here to do. All right. Well, I sit, folks. We've run out of stuff to open. There you go. A lot of stuff there. There'll, there'll be a lot more. You're going to see most of our regular uh, features are going to develop over the course of the year, obviously. Uh, but that should give you a bit of a sneak peek um, of, of what's coming up, right? Yeah. I mean, of, of these, John, what are you most excited about? Um, 
the new things like Strontium Dog, I think sounds really It's got fun. a Johnny Alpha in there. It's got a Johnny Alpha Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Beta. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, I've had a little look at it and it looks really quite funny. Like, ha ha funny. And that, well, and they've, they've used a lot of. Um, the, the, the original the comics comic and strips. stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. very flavourful. And it, you know, if, if you were reading this forty years ago, thirty years uh, ago, yeah. as a teenager, or ten years ago in John's case when he was a teenager, um, still, it, still it's, it's it's really it's really got that you know that kind of combination of jokes about farts and so forth. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It's quite <laughs> quite infantile and yet quite dark. <laughs> Uh, I'm quite excited about that. Yourself, yeah. have you got a, a favourite? Is there something in here that you it, really want to get to? You? The way I felt about the American Civil War stuff, it right. was nice to do some some smaller miniature mass battle stuff. Yeah. Even though we only did it on a small scale, we yeah. still had a couple of brigades there rather than uh, 50 guys having a scrap yeah. in a farm. <laughs> um, Again... The First World War stuff is abstracted out. I think single base of figures is, is a company. It's dealing with that much higher level yeah, yeah. stuff. And um, and a part of me yearns for that, but I hate the kind of six-hour game that didn't the finish. The rules that come with yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, the often, often. Um, whereas I think those rule sets, at, at cursory glance, they look like they did quite a level Fast of abstraction. Play, but large. Yeah, that, uh, which which I need. I only got a couple of hours. Yeah, man, to play games. Life gets in the way, folks. So I'm, I'm really excited about. It. But you're not gonna see it for ages because you've got to paint both yeah, of those armies. There's plenty and to do. In between, yeah. to do. Anyways, yeah. There you go. Let us know what you fancy seeing out of this lot, and yeah. uh, if you've had a go yourselves, I guess. I always, guys. That you know, this this update. It's 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 mostly it's for you. It's a little bit fun that we do this yeah. around Christmas time, uh, but we really appreciate all of the support that you've given us over the years. True whether fun. whether it's just that you watch the content, you press the like button, you subscribe to it, or you take those extra steps and you join the membership scheme, or even buy things from our online store. Whatever level you contribute at, it all builds this thing which is modeling for advantage we're still Makes enjoying it we're it. still enjoying it and we need your support and we really appreciate it True. so ha enjoy the christmas holidays and we'll see you in the new year happy new year thank you for watching bye bye, -bye. bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.